My name is Jake Holmes, Senior Project Manager out of Atlanta, Region 7, Mission Critical Division, and proud graduate of the illustrious North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. You know, I got the typical college experience, um, met some friends, some of my best friends that are still best friends to this day, um, got a great uh, degree, architecture engineering degree, and I got a chance to be a part of something much bigger than me. Um, when you learn about the history of North Carolina a and it was founded in, in the 1890s. Uh, we graduate more black engineers than any college in the, in, the, uh, in the nation, and it's been that way for as long as I can remember. Learning about our role in the civil rights movement, um, it was an educational experience for me, um, along with all the other the fun stuff that you get, that you get with college, and um, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. We believe in building strong communities, right? And uh, when you think of a community, you think of diversity, right? Because there's so many different communities, and I think that we all have something to offer. Um, for North Carolina A&T uh, and other HBCUs, it's not just a place of education, but these schools tend to be somewhat of museums, right? They, they preserve history, they preserve culture, and that's very important. I mean, we talk about that a lot here at Brassfield and Gore. We talk about culture and preserving our culture, and we talk about lessons learned from our past history and how important that is to guide us in the future. Well, it's the same thing. And each of these schools has a story to tell because a lot of them have been around for at least 100 years. For graduates that go there, it's multi-generational a lot of times. Their parents went, their grandparents went, the uncles went, the aunts went. Uh, so it's a family atmosphere um, and uh, it's fantastic. Um, my family had ties to it. Uh, it's, so, it's, it's a reason why they were so excited about me going along with the education that I would be getting. I had a young lady when I was, in, uh, I was doing an interview uh, years ago at Alabama A&M and she was so thankful that I took the time out to talk to her because uh, she was interested in this field but never had anybody um, who came from the similar background that she came from uh, that she could talk to just with any kind of questions that you had. People would come and, you know, they would say, let me see your resume and, you know, kind of do the standard stuff you do, but no one actually took the time to talk to her and she said, I've never had that before. And that really encouraged her. Um, and so uh, I never forgot that. Um, and I try to extend myself to, to the students that I recruit all the time, uh, just to let them know that um, I was once in your shoes. Obviously things have changed a lot, uh, you know, from when they you know, were when I first started. Um, and we have some ways to go, but uh, if we want to be in these spaces, we can't be afraid to be in these spaces. And I think it's important for people uh, like me and others in this company who care about um, the diversity and inclusion and trying to, and trying to increase that in our company profile uh, to keep pushing that.